All right, everyone, welcome back to Critics News. Now, this story of uh, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi is on the table. And you know that he is a very devoted Christian and a singer also, a praise and worshiper too, which all of us are aware of. <laughs> and there is something expected of him. You guys remember that somebody alleged that he, you know, played a way match with um, the wife of, uh, um, he played a way match with uh, Macy Chiwo because they say that this baby that this man is carrying here resembles Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. That's where the problem started. <laughs> so this issue of, you know, calling God to come and fight their battles has entered the, the game again. Okay. So instead of calling God to fight the battles, they now called lawyers, called police, called DSS, called EFCC, everything involved. So I don't know what you people think about this matter. I don't know how you people perceive these issues. What do you think is the right thing for him to have done? Is he proper? Um, is he proper for him, you know, to, uh, what will I call it? To have ignored this, uh, um, is it, uh, what will I call it, this uh, accusation? Is it proper for him to have uh, ignored it? Or is it proper for him to, you know, take this action that he's taking now? But don't forget that in the Bible, they say that you should forgive people who offend you. Is it 770 times, you know, before you take action? But this is just the first time that this person is offending Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. And he is taking this very, very serious. He is taking this matter very, very serious. And I don't know how you people want to see this thing. I don't know how it's going to end. Let me play you the videos from his lawyers who are, you know, on the case as it is right now. Now watch this video. The lawyers are speaking. My name is Peter Abraham from Fortress Link law partners and uh, with me is uh, barrister uche matthew also from fortress link law partners and barrister anton abia with us we went to the authorities to submit a petition um, on behalf of our client pastor nathaniel bassi uh, the petition is against one mr okong Okoronko AGK, Mr. Kingsley Ibe, and two others. Let's also educate our people. Um, you cannot catch crews with someone's heart and reputation. In fact, the law does not understand what is a crews in the sense that you are criminally defaming someone and you cannot hide behind the camera to say what you were doing was a cruise. Because if it was a cruise, you would have clearly made it you know, a cruise. But in this instance, they were very categorical. Okay, um, I think I have the remaining video here. Where is it again? Okay. No, a cruise. But in this instance, they were very categorical in their statements. Some of one of them even posted a picture of our client, Nathaniel Bassi, and said, this is the real father of the baby. So in this instance, this person has made a categorical statement, which is in violation of what the law stands for. So in this particular instance, all we have just simply said is that, let the police investigate this matter. Our police officers, they know the law. They know what the criminal code talks about, uh, defam criminal defamation in section 373 and 375. They know what, what the criminal cyber crimes act of 2015 talks about. So you will look at this act, you will see that these guys, these persons have gone beyond the law. And what we are asking the police to do is this. We have brought our petition. We have attached our evidence. It is clear for everyone to see. Hmm. My people. So this is a uh, <laughs> wahala. Na Nigerian gospel singer Messi Chiwo husband sue five social media users over allegation musician Natanebase fathered their child. This is a very serious issue. Some people are saying that he should have left this matter for God to intervene instead of taking it upon himself and calling summoning lawyers, calling the police IGP and everything. So this season is a season of court. Very dark man just left the prison now, left the court. 
Ijele is currently in court. There's one other girl that they say they, she defamed uh, this actress in Lagos. They say that they have sent that one to three years imprisonment for defaming her character. That one who said that, uh, um, what is her name, self, was arranging Olusho to politicians in Lagos. One girl that said that and later came to apologize. A few days back, she made a video and the thing trended. They said she never learned. I just heard today that she has been sent to three years imprisonment. Oh, she will go and lend it. Now, Messi Chue, a Nigerian gospel singer, and her husband, Blessed Uzo Chikwa, Uzo Chikwa, have sued five social media users for criminal defamation. The social media users are Okoronkwo AGK, King Silly Ibe, DJ, Spoiled Kid, Terence Ekot, and Samuel Agozie. According to um, documents obtained by Channels TV, the complainant said the alleged actions of the defendant are contrary to sections 391 of the Penal Code and section 241B of the Cyber Crimes Prohibition Prevention ETC Act 2015. Meanwhile, the Chief Magistrate Court, who says Zone 2, has summoned the five social media users for criminal defamation of the reputation of Ms. Chiwo and her husband, Uzo Chikwa. In the court summons dated April 3rd, 2024, Chief Magistrate Emmanuel Enyanya ordered the five defendants to appear in person before the court on April 23rd, 2023 to answer the charges leveled against them. The suit stemmed from posts made by defendants last week alleging that complainant child was fathered by a gospel musician, Nathaniel Bassi. The gospel singer and her husband had posted a picture of their son who was born in 2023 on Instagram. In a criminal complainant filed by the complainant, in a criminal complaint filed by the complainant, lawyers led by Pelumi Olajem Besi of Abuja-based media firm Law Corridor, Messi Chimo and her husband said the alleged actions of the defendant amounted to cyber intimidation injurious falsehood and cyber stalking targeted at their persons. Voila. <laughs> the complainant said the alleged actions of the defendant are contrary to sections 391 of the Penal Code and section 241B of the Cyber Crimes Prohibition uh, Prevention ETC Act 2015. The lawyer said the individuals criminally injured the reputation and the image of the complainant across the globe resulting from their intentional defamatory post and an act of cyber stalking. Magistrate Emmanuel Eyanya thereafter directed the five defendants to appear before the court on April 23, 2024 to answer to the charges. Okay, Sarah reporters reported on Wednesday that Nathaniel Basi had petitioned the Inspector General of Police Kayode Betoku to investigate and prosecute four persons whom he also accused of criminal defamation and cyber stalking. This time around, prison go fool. Anybody will match anybody. <laughs> you don't call it be that. Now, so they take write my name, tweet, say I be criminal. <laughs> Those people will they, they write say I be criminal. I hope so I get proof. Those people will write say I be criminal. I hope so I get proof. Okay. Oh. Now, according to Channel TV, the singer submitted the petition to IGP on April 1st, 2024, through his lawyers, Peter Abraham, Uche Matthew, Benga Gunloye, and Anthony Abia. Some social media users identified as Okoronkwe G. Kekinsi Libe, Terence Ekot, and DJ Spoiled Kid, reportedly alleged that Basi father, the son of fellow popular gospel singer, singer Messi Chimo. The allegations subsequently went viral on Twitter. Um, and Instagram. Through his lawyers, Basi appealed to the police chief to attend to his petition against the four social media users to clear his name. According to him, their posts amount to the complete assassination of his character. Our client is a gospel music minister whose songs and ministrations have impacted the lives of so many from different walks of life across the globe, the petition partly read. So, this case is a very serious case. Some people have said that they should leave this case to God, to judge. While Nathaniel Bassi, Messi Chiwo, and the husband, Okachuku Abiwetin, has taken it 
to you know upon themselves to solve the problem physically instead of spiritually. But why is it that Jesus' power is no longer working? Why is it that we are not using practicing this thing that we are preaching every blessed day? Why? That is my own question. Why are we not using it? Why are we not calling on God to show these people pepper? Because in the Bible, we saw how many people cost many people. We saw how Jesus cost the fig tree and it withered. We saw how he commanded pigs. I be some people to turn to pig. I be how. He saw how we made people. You know, why are those things not happening? When those people who are men of God today, when they are walking, passing by, rather than leaving them for people to touch them and get healed, security hardened, well-equipped security, we'll be blocking them from the public not to touch them. What is happening today? Are we practicing the opposite of Christianity? I've been a caricature, we take the Christianity they do. Which one should we believe now? Yeah? Just, just, just like this young man. Now. Christianity now is attacking Christianity. Let, let, let's go with this one. Let's, let me talk, talk. Just, just watch. Young boys call themselves apostles. Mm -hmm. You say, young boy, they will be opening car for him. People, people, door, you'll be coming down. <laughs> As an apostle, small, small boys. You know, go that destroy their you lives. Mm -hmm. you know, they turn yeah. Christianity to celebrate the issue. Mm -hmm. Madness. Voila. My insanity, I'm angry. He don't read. Who taught you that nonsense? Where did you get that nonsense from? Huh? What nonsense? Only in Africa. Go and check. You won't find it in the Budo Yimbo. <laughs> America. It's not there. African man, you guys don't get brain. Chai. What's up with you? You young boys also pay them. The, your your age is calling you slave. Are you, are you agreeing? Something's wrong with your brains. Those boys on campus, if you follow some people, you are wrong. You, you went to school to be a slave. Then you are in this road. Voila. How can they send you to university to be a slave to your colleague? It's madness. Small, small boys, oh. 22, 24. They'll be going for me, car. They'll borrow a car. And you see his mate opening the door. It's a papa, papa. I saw you, my boy. What's wrong here? Yeah. Madness. What? How did you get here? How did you get here? Madness, madness, madness. Madness is the power of madness. That noise, my belly. One of them, I saw him. He, he was praying. He told them to record his prayer. I was like, I said, the man is insane. For nobody should get into my closet. Recording my conversation with my daddy. Enter your closet in private. Pray. Since when did we make pray, private prayer? Recording the issue. You don't, you don't, you don't get it. I said when you pray, enter your closet. Have a secret place. A secret place you know have camera. You are, you are praying in secret. They are telling to you to camera. To show that you are, you are faking it. You are showing seriousness. Who are you deceiving? They said this guy now, this uh, this is he on a pastor praise. I'll be waiting. Say na campus guy you he don't they or na don't make him this powerful. When we talk about it, some people will come and say, "Oh, you don't know the things of the spirit. Will you keep quiet? How can somebody be going about uh, murmuring like a mad person? That is the symptoms of madness in Africa. When you are walking around and you are not talking with me, not talking to anybody, and you are like a this, these are ways of deceit. It's very common in Africa. That's how they are deceiving us. And then when, as I'm talking now, people will counter it and say, what do you know? Is uh, the things of God do? Is uh, this thing? You don't know anything. Do. Is a uh, spiritual something? You don't know nothing. That is it in Africa. That's how they are doing it. How be juju be that? Everybody use your number six. Use common sense and serve God. It's not by walking what is all this? Come to Obodo Ibo. The Christianity we have been accusing in the church of bringing to us in Africa. That's not how they practice it in Obodo Ibo. Thank God that we are able to come to Obodo Ibo to see with our eyes and confirm it. 
what is happening in Africa is not Christianity. It is criminal activities going on there. But let's go another news, Jerry. I don't want to talk. <laughs>